In many small, remote, indigenous communities, only one hardy local store has been able to survive. But controversy is now brewing in some areas where indigenous-owned enterprises are having to compete with new Australian-Chinese startups. Local indigenous businesses say they should be allowed to keep their monopolies. Jane Barden reports. Since the 1800s, Chinese migrants in remote parts of the Northern Territory have been among its most entrepreneurial. But a more recent wave of Australian Chinese business startups is causing tension in some Indigenous communities. So we've just done a major upgrade here, yeah. um, about $130,000 refit. Until May this year, in the Arnhem Land community of Nuka, the local Aboriginal corporation-owned store had a monopoly on food sales. It had planned to use the profits to expand. We had come up with a funding model to finance this operation, and now that Kung Fu have arrived, we've had to step back from it. The Indigenous Corporation estimates competition from Nuka's new Chinese takeaway has shaved a million dollars a year off its profits, along with assistance it gives community members for funerals and going away to school. It's just an appalling state of affairs where the government, the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet, who's supposed to be supporting Aboriginal economic development and community development, have done this. The Prime Minister's department says competition is vital for the functioning of a market economy to benefit consumers. The Northern Land Council also gave the takeaway permission to operate. Information was presented to the traditional owner group in relation to that business and uh, what that business was purporting to do and uh, traditional owners gave their consent. The consultation there have been done proper way in our community. No involvement from the community. The Kung Fu Enterprise owner says Nuka's traditional owners asked her to open up her shop. Because they are very, very keen to bring in competition to the community to reduce the high grocery price and uh, also provide more healthy food. She says Nuka's population of a thousand easily supports two shops. One shop, I think, is a really lack of a basic facility to the community. To say we're going to have to transfer a mainstream economic model and competition to a place like Nuka is just an absolute nonsense. However, in recent years, Chinese takeaways have opened in nearby Minyeri and Boralula. The newcomers are among the few prepared to take a punt on investing in remote Northern Territory Indigenous communities. Jane Barden, ABC News, Nuka.